Hello everyone, this is Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. I'm going to be doing a crochet tutorial today. We are going to be making a easy crochet dishcloth. Let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. Because this is a thicker yarn, I like to do about 34 chains. This is a five millimeter hook and this is cotton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Now the reason I do four, 34 chains is because I like my dish cloths to be about 10 inches wide. I make them 10 by 10 because they do shrink in the dryer. So I like them fairly large. So the first thing you want to do is put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. This does not count as a chain. This loop on your hook is not a chain. This is a chain and this is a chain. So we're going to go in the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. And then we're going to go in the very next chain and make a double crochet. And then we're going into the next chain and making a single crochet. Then we'll go in the very next chain and make a double crochet. So we're alternating between single crochet, double crochet, and that will be your pattern throughout your dishcloth. Single crochet, double crochet. Single crochet, double crochet. And we will keep alternating like this until the end of this row, which is row one. I'll join you at the end. All right, I'm almost at the very end of row one. I finished here a single crochet, so the next one I'm going to do into this next chain is a double crochet. And then in the very last chain, I'll put a single crochet. Now we are going to end every row and start the next row with a single crochet. So what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. Put a single crochet in the first single crochet from the previous row. We did a double crochet here in this previous row. So now we want to put a single crochet in the double crochet. In the next one we did a single crochet, so we want to put a double crochet in that single crochet. The next one, single crochet. The next one, double crochet. And you will alternate between these two all the way to the end of the row. And when we get to the end of the row, I will meet you there. All right, I'm almost at the end of row two and I have three stitches left, one, two, and three. Now this first one is a single crochet, so I'm going to put a double crochet in there. And then the next stitch, 
because you're alternating it will be a single crochet and then you also put a single crochet in the very end stitch as well because we are starting each row with a single crochet and finishing each row with a single crochet so it's okay there's two together there chain one Now we're starting the row with a single crochet, so we'll put that single crochet into the first single crochet of that row. This was also this was a single crochet here, so we're going to put a double crochet into it because we're alternating. Single crochet, double crochet. Single crochet, double crochet. And that is how we do it. Work all the way to the end, alternating. Make sure you end with a single crochet, chain one, turn your work, and work another a single crochet into that single crochet. And so on and so forth. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you learned from it, thank you so much.